beautifully seared marinated steak combined with a whole bunch of epic taco fillings. These are my bulgogi beef tacos. This is such a great taco to have when you're in a hurry. It's really easy to prepare and tastes so good. <laughs> all right, let's do our uber quick marinade first of all. I'm gonna start off with some soy sauce, some mirin, sesame oil, a little dash of sugar, and some sesame seeds. And then some aromatics here. I've got some garlic. And some ginger. Just give that a mix. Now you can use any kind of tender steak cut that you like. I've just got some strip loin or some sirloin pieces here. I like mine really thick, so I get chunky pieces. Okay, now get those guys luxuriating in that marinade. And this marinade's really intense. All soy-based marinades to me do not need very long at all. So I'm just gonna set those aside while I make some sauce for our tacos. First off, some mayonnaise. Now I'm using the Japanese style of mayonnaise, that Kewpie mayonnaise that you would have seen in the Asian section. I like its tangy sweetness here. But any kind of mayonnaise is fine. And then here's the real little kicker. I'm using some Korean gochujang chili paste. So this is a fermented chili paste. It adds a kick of spice, spicy heat, uh, but also has a load of umami flavors and salty flavors as well. It's all around a good guide to have in the kitchen. And then some sesame oil and some mirin. Just watch as this magically turns into a bright red, beautiful taco sauce. Mm. Now that's fiery, yum. Now when your pan's nice and hot, just grab a hold of one of those hunks of steak and let's get them sizzling. There's a little trick to cooking with a soy and sugar-based marinade. The sugar is obviously going to caramelize really quickly. So what I like to do is get a really nice hard sear on both sides first, so about a minute each side. Then turn the heat down really low and keep basting and flipping those steaks on a low heat until they're cooked to your liking. Bit of that marinade and the steaks each time. Oh, and see that beautiful colour we've got already? Yum. Oh, that is good. Now, if you've got a fat cap on the side of your steaks, don't forget to sear that as well. Now, while my steak's cooking, I like to go ahead and heat up my tortillas and just get them into a pan until they're nice and hot and fluffy. And then to keep them nice and warm, I like to wrap them all up nice and snug in a plate and a tea towel. Okay, so this steak is looking so perfect. Look at that color, oh, amazing. Now what you want to do here is exercise some patience, even though that steak does look ridiculously amazing, uh, and just let those rest for a couple of minutes, allow those juices to spread back out into the meat. All right, let's dig into our hefty hunk of meat here. Oh, look at that color and how juicy that steak is. I love the contrast between that pink middle and that uber charred outside. Mm, so good. And now you will have some resting juices on your plate left and you cannot waste that my friends. That needs to be poured all over the top. Now to assemble, we want to take some of that spicy mayo we made. And some 
Chinese cabbage or Napa cabbage, depending on where you are. Some of our beef, some kimchi. Ah, oh, my fridge is never without kimchi. So much flavor and such a little condiment. And now a good sprinkling of sesame seeds and some spring onion. And there you go, my friends. That is one speedy taco. And let's see if we've made it taste any good. Wow, that is so good. I was trying to take a small mouthful so that I could talk to you about it, but I couldn't help it. That was a massive bite. Mm. The spicy sauce, that beef, it's so tender. And that beautiful marinade, mm, everything. And the kimchi, really good, really good, guys. You really need to make this one. Mm. There's no dainty way to eat a taco, really. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks, guys.